Hello guys, I'm Vince the Bunny Girl. As promised, today is today that we will explore bunnies in Bangkok together. Let's see our fluffy friends. My topic research is exploring the diverse bunny breeds in Bangkok at the bunny cafes. Oryctolagus cuniculus domesticus, the scientific name of domestic bunny, commonly known as rabbit or bunny. Bunny are small mammal that belongs to the family Leporidae. They are widely domesticated and are kept as a pet in many households around the world. Domestic bunnies come in various breeds, size, and color. They typically have a compact and round body with a soft fur. Their fur can be short or long. It depends, and it can be found in a wide range of colors and patterns, including solid color, patches, even spot. They have large eye on the side of the head, long ear, and they are usually erected, and sometimes you will see the lop one. Bunnies are typically gentle and sometimes a little shy. They are unknown for their curiosity and their ability to hop and jump with agility. Domestic rabbits can make a great companion as a pet, as they can be quite social and enjoy interaction with their owners. Some bunnies may even be trained to use litter box, respond to their names, or perform some super tricks. Today, we will explore both extrinsic characteristic and intrinsic characteristic. The extrinsic characteristic is something that you can observe directly. For the intrinsic, is the characteristic that not actually display directly. Sometimes it has to do with its nature. For example, aggression. How do they beg for treat? Social interaction with humans, social interaction with the bunnies, and also the unique traits. We found that there are three breeds available in Bunnyrista: Netherland Dove, Hollalop, and Minirex. For the eye color, there are seven brown eyes, three blue eyes, and one red eyes. Eye categorized the sizes range in S, M, L, and XL. So there are four small bunny, one medium sized bunny, five large bunny, and also one XL bunny. We observed that Holland are likely to be bigger by their genetic components in comparison of Netherland Dove. For the full adult size, it's likely to range from Holland Love. Minirex, and then Netherland off. And these are the result of the color. So all bunny have the same white component at some part, except those that are non-white solid. Bright color bunnies are more prevalent than dark color by 63.6% in this cafe. From observation, 100% of bunnies have a pink in the ear. The bunnies have erect ear are more likely to have a shorter ear in my observation, except the minirex that have the ear as long as some holland lobs. In this cafe, the main diet is actually timothy. They start to give timothy as young as 5 months old. In fact, according to many research, timothy is beneficial for bunny teeth as well, preventing the overgrown teeth. So if you're starting to give your bunny timothy early, they will probably have a better transition from alpha fur to timothy. For the visible health issue, I observed that physical such as teeth overgrown, fur condition, redden of the eyes to see if there is any infection and their balance, and also the weight as well. To check if your bunny is underweight or not, you can put your hand down and feel the spine. If you cannot feel the spine, then they are pretty good. But if you can feel a bum on it, then they probably be underweight. So in this cafe, we found only one bunny that underweight. She is about like five, six months old, which is the transit period. So it's possible that she eat less than usual. Good news: the rest of our caniculus are happy and healthy. For the intrinsic behavior, they are pretty calm and chill. We can observe some shinning behavior when the caniculus trying to claim their territory. Some pinky and butt checking when they got so excited. Sometimes the bunnies like to hide as well. Well, it's actually a prey animal, so when they hide undercover, it makes them feel safer around humans. We also learned that the trick 
If you wanted to be friends with Bunny, we probably have to be at the same level and they can see us so you don't look like a giant to them. All I love about actually staying with me and my assistant longer than Netherland Dolph or any other breed, but it might be a bias because we are more familiar with Holland Law. Well, for that question, it depends. Typically, Conicolas are pretty peaceful unless male and male bunny can be aggressive toward each other. Most cafe will not let bunny all at once to prevent their fighting. Overall, bunnies at Banirista, it's in good health condition and quite friendly to human, so I give a pass on the wipe check. So if you live in Bangkok and doesn't have a car, Rabbit Instinct would be a great choice because you can just take the BTS Skytan system to Bunawiti station. But the location wise, Rabbit Instinct is smaller, yeah, it's pretty smaller than the previous cafe that we have visited. In this cafe, there are 8 bunny show on the day that we visit. Every bunny here have their own cage just like in Banerista, but this is more special because they have their own little name tag on it and also indicate the gender of the caniculus. Hi Dushin, he's the greeter. He's the most chill bunny you have ever met in the cafe. So for the variation in this cafe, we have three Netherland Dolph, four Holland Lop, and also one Minirex. For the eye color, there are five brown eyes, two blues, and one red. Quite similar to the last one actually. For this size, there is one small bunny, two medium size, two large, and three XL. For the color, we don't see many bright toned bunny as much, but according to my observation, the buns with a light fur, brown face, and round body are way more popular, and also get requested to bring out of the cage quite often. Just look at that cutie face! Regarding the diet, this cafe fed them pallets and some fresh carrot as well. Personally, I have never fed my bunny with a pallet. Well, this is actually an awesome opportunity to see if diets actually make a difference to their health. I found that three of the Holland Lop here are underweight. Don't let the fur fool you. For the behavior, the caniculus here are quite active. They run around a lot, but they are less friendly to human. There was some child playing with them quite hard as well. They might have developed some kind of defense when human approached them. But that doesn't apply to everyone because we can also see the charmer who doesn't afraid of anything as well. So in conclusion, every bunny, they have different personality just like human. They are not exactly the same and they are not that fragile or sensitive. There are some stigma going around about raising a bunny you have to understand that bunny is actually exotic pets and they need space even though they are pretty small but they do need care and space and your time so if you would like to have your own bunny make sure you can get over that all right we finished with a data catering so let's compare some of it with the literature that i've found let's start with physical according to Bella et al in 2016 he suggests that the heterochromic pigment, or the blue eyes, is caused by iris anomaly that prevalent in Dutch rabbits. The Dutch rabbits also known as the Hollander or the Babrinder. Well, according to our observation, five blue eyes, they are all Netherland off, which is quite similar to Holland Lop, actually. They're not that far on a tree, but I would say this is not exactly what we're looking for, so I'm just gonna cross it off. According to Johnson and Brain 2019, they suggest that Honolop are more susceptible to the oral infection due to the oracle morphological feature, which is the floppy ears. I think this one probably doesn't apply to the result that I found a lot. Yeah, there is no coniculus display any sign of infection at the time that I investigated, but the bigger population, there might be some more chance. So we probably need to conduct further research to confirm this one. Keenan 2015 extensive analysis found the importance of the dietary fibers. This is true. 
bunnies that I eat in my tea regularly have a bit of digestive tracts. The stool that I found is quite the same size and relatively more round and bigger than those who merely eat f the food pallets. RV 2019 Statistical modeling suggests that mildly flat faced bunnies and light fur bunny are the most preferred globally than any other kind. The long faced bunnies are the least preferred, unfortunately. This is true. Although the pattern doesn't play much role in the preference, but the color can actually make a difference. Hoffman 2009 suggests male domestic bunny wraps their under shin against object in order to deposit the sun's gland secretion. Yes, we did observe it and managed to get one footage on the camera. I feel like when bunny are introduced in a new place, for example the playground, they would want to find their place just like human in a high school yard. So the easiest way that they can do is make sure their smell is here. Hawking's FAL 2008 They suggest that positive handling and allowing the bunnies to see your face will increase the interaction between human and rabbits. Well, yes, they are more curious when they are able to investigate me and sniffing. So, in conclusion, in the literature part, I disagree just only two literatures. This can be very depends on where you study as well. I extend my research by performing statistical tests as well. I chose one way and over to find out if there is a statistical differences in the preferred bunny breeds, namely Han Lala, Netherland Dove, and Minirex. After I compute, the p-value is 0.69, so there is not much difference. This could be probably because I don't have enough data as well, or they just simply doesn't have any preference. So I decided not to run the Python to check any other type, for example, that if there is a color preference or anything, because I feel like I don't have enough data to compute and actually compare and make the result to be statistical significance. But for the eye color population, in the first cafe we see 7 brown, 3 blue and 1 red, right? In the second cafe we see 5 brown, 2 blue and 1 red. So it's quite similar ratio. Maybe the bunny eyes color could be another episode. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Have a fluffy day everyone. Thank you.